The first affiliate site I ever ranked cost me $16,781, and that site generates me now about $1,000 per month. Now, how does the god of SEO known as myself get such insane results like that? Because when you compare that to conventional investing, that's an extremely good return. It all comes down to knowing my numbers and knowing the real cost of what it actually takes to achieve a result in Google. The reality is, if you know the value of a keyword in Google, and you know the cost of doing that work to get ranked for that keyword, then you can marry the two up, compare the numbers, and decide upfront before you rank any website exactly how much it's gonna cost and what you're gonna get off the back of that. The truth is, you wouldn't build a house without a plan. So why do we spend tens of thousands on link building and content services for SEO websites without any idea of exactly how much it's gonna to cost to get the results we're looking to achieve. In this video, I'm gonna detail a strategy and process that you can follow to get a consistent understanding of the exact costs that go into a successful SEO campaign upfront so that you know what you're finally gonna be spending and you're not consistently spending those monthly retainers and burning money without knowing at all what's coming in from that. There's three main costs associated to ranking on Google, and I'm gonna detail each of these just now and show you how you can analyze these and how you can use these costings to actually grow your SEO campaigns further. So the first group of costings, which are fairly basic, are the technical costs. And this is like your web design, your hosting, your on-page speed fixes, and your domain name. So there's a bunch of different costs in this category, which basically are needed for any different website. A web design is not gonna cost you much if you do it yourself. You can use companies and that's gonna cost you a few thousand dollars if you use a company. Um, your hosting is going to be very minimal, should be about between $10 and $50 a month. Your on-page speed fixes, so sometimes you'll build a website and it's really, really slow, so you might wanna speed that website up and that's where your on-page speed fixes come in. And then of course you're gonna have a domain name which is like $10 a year. So these are the basic, what I would call like fixed costs of an SEO campaign. I'm gonna move on to more of the variable costs which are more important to analyze. So the next thing that we want to analyze is content. It's one of the biggest variable costs that we're going to have on our websites. And really what we need to work out is exactly how much content authority we need to build. Now what people don't realize is that if you're trying to rank for a keyword like best golf clubs, you actually need to have other pages on your website which support that page. So that can include writing about the different types of golf clubs like putters and drivers. And by having these different things on your website, it actually helps you rank. Now, when you know this, what you can essentially do is you can come in and look at other competitors who are already ranking for the keywords that you want to target, and you can find out their entire content authority and what pages they have on the website, and then you can just create the exact same pages. So here's a process for how you work this out. The first step is you come to a keyword like, for example, I pulled best drives for distance. This is a keyword you want to achieve. What I do is I come in and I find competitors to my website that are trying to rank for the same keyword and that are already ranking. And I'm trying to find people here that have a similar level of authority and are not like a big massive Amazon of the world. I'm trying to find another golf affiliate site if that's what my website is. And I'm gonna look for people that have the, the kind of content on the website that I am looking to build. Another way of finding the competitors is to put your website into Ahrefs, come down and look at the top 10 competitors. You know. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna run a content gap audit with inside Ahrefs. And what this is gonna show you is it's gonna show you what keywords that those competitors are ranking for and that you're not ranking for right now. Now, I'm only putting on one website for this example, but let's say this is my website here. This is a competitor. I'm gonna show keywords, I'm gonna put multiple competitors. And what this is gonna show me is it's gonna show me a ton of keywords that this other website is ranking for that I might not be ranking for right now. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to clusterize your keywords. And this involves taking this messy group of keywords that you've just exported from Ahrefs and grouping them together. So for example, if you're trying to rank for the best golf clubs, there's gonna be a lot of different keywords which group up with that single keyword, okay? And what this is gonna tell you in Ahrefs is all the different keywords, but you're gonna want something that groups them all together so that you know for one page, you might have seven or eight keywords for that one page. So a clusterization tool will actually allow you to group those together and tell you how many pages from all those keywords that you actually need to build. One that I can really recommend is Keyword Cupid. 
The final step now is that you'll have a list of all of the pages that you're missing as compared to your competition. And all you need to do is use a tool like Surfer SEO to analyze how much words you need to put into those pages. And Surfer SEO will also help you correlate those pages so that you can build them in the best SEO friendly way possible. I've left a link to both Keyword Cupid and Surfer SEO in the link below. Now, the thing is at this point is you just need to work out the exact cost it's gonna be for you to actually complete your SEO campaign for content. And this could be from buying like a service like ours, it could be from building it with in-house writers. You're just gonna to have to work out the overall cost of actually completing your content site and that's how you work out how much content you need on a variable basis. The final and arguably most important part of analyzing how much an SEO campaign cost is backlinks. And backlinks are the power and the votes for your website site that allows them to rank. So how many links do you need to build and what type of links do you need to build? This again comes down to analyzing the competition, but you have to do it in a very specific way that doesn't involve using all of the tools out there. We just wanna use them for their data, but do the SEO analysis ourselves. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come into your keyword again and find, I would say, three competitors, just like before, that you're looking to rank against. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into Ahrefs and we're gonna look at their backlinks to see how much power and authority this website has. From there, you're gonna export their backlinks and you're gonna follow the training videos inside of my free mini course that I gave out a little while ago called the Semantic Link Building Course. Inside this course, I actually talk a little bit about how you can audit those links to put those links into buckets. This is an example of what you're looking for from this analysis. This is also called link gap analysis. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna work out how many links your competitors have at different levels of varying authority on their websites. Now, for example, let's say your competitors have 10 backlinks at the DR30 plus range, but then at the DR40 plus range, they have 20 backlinks. Now these DRs are just essentially analyzing how authoritative the links are going to their website. And let's say for DR60 plus, they have 50 backlinks, okay? What we do is we look at how many we have as compared to them, and at the bottom, we get a discrepancy at each different bucket level. And that means we know at the very end of this, we know, well, because our competitors at DR45 and 60 have more links than us at those levels, we need to build 10 DR45 links and we need to build 10 DR60 links in order to match them. And this is why we want to analyze three competitors because we can take an average of those three people, see what we need as compared to them, and we can build an ongoing backlink plan to match those people. By doing analysis in this way, not only does it tell us exactly how many links we need to build and what type of links we need to build because we now understand the authority level of those links, but we can actually come in at this point and figure out a link velocity. So how many links you need to build today, tomorrow, and over the next X number of months. So let's say you want to meet that link discrepancy in six months time. It means that you can essentially come in and say, well, that's three links per month over six months if we need to build 20 links, or it's seven links per month over three months. So essentially we can work out how many links we need to build per month in order to fit the discrepancy of the campaign that we're trying to build up. I'm gonna link below the auditing section of this part and all of the files that you need to do this are completely free and you can download them using the link below if you want to do this yourself. You can now see the clear benefits of building a plan before your SEO campaign, but you might be looking at all this and it might seem a little bit daunting. It's quite a lot of work to audit this stuff properly. And if you're owning an agency right now and you have lots of clients, then this is gonna be a lot of work to do on each client. I'd like to introduce you to my service, which is called the Ranking Report. And I don't usually pitch on YouTube, but I just wanted to say that all of the analysis that I just showed you on how to analyze, we actually sell as a little service that you can grab for a few hundred bucks. And if you buy it for a couple hundred bucks, you can actually use the credit to use on our services for content and link services. So it's basically free if you're buying from us already. Check this out, there's actually a full 10 minute video here explaining how the ranking report works and it's very similar to what I've just showed you, but it's more detailed. In the link section, we actually analyze things like relevance as well as looking at authority. We look at tiered link building, which gives you even more analysis and more data to determine exactly what the costs are going to be for you to complete your campaign. And at the very end, we'll even offer you solutions on how we can fill that discrepancy in for you 
over monthly periods. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. I'm really spending a lot of time here on YouTube. And if you have any content ideas that you'd like to suggest for the next video, drop them below or drop me a PM. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see next. Thanks for checking it out and I look forward to seeing you soon.